What's up guys, it's you and welcome to uh, Pokemon Showdown Live. I think this is episode 77 and uh, it's also the first live this week. I'm going to be playing some OU because my boy Invoker um, cooked up a brand new team. Um, it's actually really cool. Um, I will probably link it down below. Innovation, just everywhere. Anyway, so uh, taking a look at the team, we have uh, Crunch Hippowdon, which is Spadef to beat Gengar, and uh, Crunch so that he can actually hit it. Um, Earthquake, Slackoff, and Stealth Rock are the other moves. Then we have Max Physically Defensive Mega Slowbro, and uh, some of you may say, well, that's bad, it's Max Physically Defensive, but um, it helps handle Bird Spam a lot better since Hippo is Spadef, so, you know, that's why that's there. This was a Latios. Change it out to a Latios uh, just because I feel that it handles Keldeo a little bit better. As uh, sub CM seems a little threatening for this team. Uh, or just CM3 attacks with like HP Electric. Um, that's like it's rare, but it beats this team. So added that. Uh, changed Life Orb by Sharp to his Soul Vest by Sharp. It's a bulky spread. Um, allows it to take some hits. Beats Lottie a lot better. Uh, then we also have Volcarona, which is physically defensive Volcarona. Really cool mod in the current meta. Um, it just quiver dances on a lot of things. Uh, generally helps beat Scizor and Mega Sableye and stuff like that. Stallbreaker. And then we also have Kirin Black, which is uh, here to beat Balance. Insane coverage. Running HP Fire so that you can actually switch Pharaoh in, which is pretty neat. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and grab a battle. Also, shout out to Brian Altano for the uh, music, the background music. What is this? Screen flow recorded. That's cool. I'm recording, right? Cool. Anyway. So looking at this guy's team, uh, looks like he kind of struggles versus my boy Volcarona. Um, so hopefully that'll put in some work. Um, I don't know what he's going to lead with, though. I suppose leading with Slowbro isn't a bad play. Because I can just Mega Evolve and Scald. Um, very rarely do uh, these Mega Sableyes carry Toxic, so... You know, I can do that. If he leads Chomp, then I just Scald and get damage. Um, but looking at... Bisharp is kind of a trouble to play around. Um, that's why this Bisharp is bulky also, because it helps beat stuff like that. Um, but anyway, I'm about to turn this volume down real quick. Anyway, um, this guy needs to go and make his move. We're about to hit him with time real quick. Um... But yeah, Volcarona really actually shreds this team because I can Giga Drain Starmie. Um, basically, this gets uh, Flame Fiery Dance, that Fiery Dance Giga Drain. Just gotta weaken that Fiery Dance, and I can just spam Fiery Dance versus that. So, doesn't really look like too much of an issue. Um, Kieran Black also has the potential to put in some work because it outspeeds that. That can't kill it. That can't kill it, and uh, it can also just break down that a little bit. I don't have Sub. Uh, which is a little bit disappointing, but I really like HP Fire on this because a lot of times people will just say, oh, you know, I'm like mixed defense Pharaoh, I can switch into this, and then you reveal HP Fire. All of a sudden, not a switch in. <laughs> um, also does a really good job of just luring Scizor on this team because Scizor is kind of actually a problem when you uh, break it down um, because if it's like fast SD, like offensive, then things just die, but he ends up leading Garchomp here, which is fine. Bro, I'm just clicking Scald. I mean, I have Scald on my moveset, clicking it like 90% of the time. Switch is added to the keys, which is fine. Uh, I'm just clicking, uh, as I said, clicking Scald. Um, right here, I think I'm going to go out into Hippo. Um, kind of a, Actually, I could go into Buy Sharp anticipating Toxic, but that doesn't really do anything for me. Um because I do need to preserve this for his Bisharp. So I'm going to go into my Hippo right here, hopefully get my rocks up. That'd be beautiful, because I force him to either spin or defog later in the match, which, you know, just buys me a free turn. And generally, if I can get free turns off of this thing, that'd be beautiful. Um, but he ends up going for the light screen, which is fine. Like I said, just getting my rocks up. He will probably stay in, but that's fine. Because, um, yeah, okay, whatever, man. I'm just clicking e EQ, probably EQ, because even if he goes out into this and tries to just set up on me, it's like it's not actually that big of a deal. He only gets two spikes up, and I, I know I said that like, oh, he only gets two spikes, but which is actually kind of annoying. But you know, I have defog on Lottie for a reason. I can okay, he goes out to star me right here, which is fine, because he's just gonna spin, right? Yeah. 
I'm just gonna stand and crouch. I don't actually need Hippo for that much this match. Uh, it does a pretty good job of checking Zapdos. Um, but I've been seeing this weird... Oh, nice defense drop. Um, he's bulky star me. Probably reflect type. But I'm just clicking crouch again. Actually, or do, or do I click EQ? Predicting Bish to come in. Nah, because I can just uh, do the other thing the next turn. Anyway, so he goes out into Bisharp. I probably should have EQ'd right there. Just don't defense drop, thank you. Um, because even if he chooses to SD right here, like, Hippowdon is not something you generally try to SD on. He went for knockoff right there, which is a pretty questionable play, to be honest, uh, because I can just click slack off. Um, if he S, he's not, uh, he may, he may be black glasses, although that did not look like black glasses damage, so I just get the free slack off right there as, uh, he goes into Sableye. Probably looking at a Willow right here, um, which is f fine. Um, I suppose I could just go to Lottie and Defog because the Spiker's dead. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that because uh, these spikes actually are kind of annoying for my team uh, because Kyurem does get worn down pretty fast. He ends up going for the CM straight off the bat, which is kind of scary. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go for the Defog right here, hoping he Dark Pulses. Um, then I made Draco, we'll have to see. Oh, he just switched. Uh, help me! Um, so what I'm gonna do right here is, your boy is gonna click Draco, um, even though he's gonna sucker. Actually, I could click Roost. I'm clicking Roost. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Thanks, Showdown. Appreciate it. Like, 99% of the time, you doing that is just horrible. But, this time, it ended up working out, uh, ended up knocking out by Sharp, so... We'll see what he decides to go into next. Kind of think he's kind of thinking he's gonna go into Volcarona, although he could go into Garchomp in order to try to get up his rocks. If he goes out into Garchomp, I'm just making the easy switch out into Slowbro, because um, Slowbro can just click Scald. Oh, he just ends up leaving. That's disappointing. Um, so your boy's gonna find another match, and we'll be back in a few. All right, I'm back. Um, so this guy has a team that looks very like reminiscent of, of I don't know. Gen, like, late XY balance, um, probably Mega Scizor, no, he's Mega Venusaur for sure, uh, probably CB right there, uh, not, not an issue though, um, rocks on his team is that, I'm gonna go ahead and lead Hippo, and the reason I'm leading Hippo is because I feel like he's, I don't lead with Latios, he, oh, okay, um, well, the turn one double is just so obvious, it's, it's so obvious, I'm gonna go into Bisharp as a middle ground. Um, because I don't think he's clicking Fighting Stab. I could go into Kirim, that'd be a cool play. But I'm gonna go into Bisharp right here. Um, reason being is because I don't wanna stay in and take like a Specs Hydro. Oh wow, he stayed in. Secret. Uh, uh, help me! Anyway, that was poor. <laughs> he's sub CM. That was really disappointing. Why? Why? You have your water stab. Oh, uh, he's probably expecting Kieran. Bad play on my part. It's like, wait, does Slowbro just actually 6-0 him? After two CMs, I take that on. I can take this on now. Fight me. Um, Talon at plus two does like 60. Um, I can take that on for sure. Ah, uh, Bug Bite is probably holding me back. That's disappointing. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into Slowbro. And I'm gonna make a double because I feel like he's gonna switch out into Titar because he like can't really touch me right here, um, even if you sub see him. And it's either uh, what do I double to, or do I just stay in and see him? That's that's the question. I'm actually not gonna Mega yet, and I'm going to Scald. Reason being is that. I still have my regenerator, I can pivot around, this isn't going to do a lot. Um, even if he goes out into Venusaur, okay, he goes out into Scizor, that was burn, because that was a bad play. Um, okay, I'm going to double right here, because I should be able to take this, right? Like, I just don't want to take a U-turn. I'm going to go into Scizor, or not Scizor, Volcarona. Um, he is probably just U-turning right here, good play. Flame Body. Where's my burn? <laughs> Um, that would have been really nice to get a burn right there. Um, kind of expecting him to go into Keldeo. Yeah, he goes into Keldeo. This thing's a problem, man. Because I really need Lottie. 
Um, I, I have to go to Lottie. Like, I actually have no other switch ends. Um, Keltar is actually a pretty big problem for this team. But it just ends up standing, clicking Hydro. That did nothing. Yum. And then I think I Draco here. No, because he's not staying in. He, he's not actually going to stay in, is he? But I have nothing with Beat Scarf Tar. That's unfortunate. I'm clicking Draco, I think. Um, no, because I can't. Uh, I'm so conflicted. <laughs> um, I think right here. <coughs> oh, God. Um, I think right here I'm just going to double the hippo. Because I don't think he's staying in. Um, thank you, for the love of God. I thought you were going to stay in right there. So, Sand is gone. Check. Um, I think right here I'm going to click Crunch on the switch to... Latios. Or do I click EQ? I'm clicking Crunch. Um, and the reason being is he just stays in. Cool. So now I have rocks. And now Crunch is revealed. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get up my rocks right here. That's so lame. Like, I didn't think he was going to want to stay in and take an earthquake, but clearly I'm reading far too much into these plays. Goes out to Venusaur, which is, it's I Don't worry about it. I'm just going to go straight out into uh, my boy Kirim. Because I... He's just gonna leech seed, right? Um, or not leech seed? Maybe leech seed. He's not gonna sleep powder though. Ah, dodged. You won't. I can sub in your face so hard right now. Um, I'm just gonna click ice beam though because I am life orb. I am modest. Um, bye. <laughs> um, sorry about that one, but you know, I can't really do anything about that. Unfortunate, yes. Game changing, probably. Um, I don't know. I I just haven't been able to team build recently, so that's why you guys are seeing a different team. I, I'm clicking Earth Power, I think, just because I feel like he's gonna try to make the double into Tar this turn, and I can just bop it for some damage. Um, although he does have to kind of not play around with threats. Yeah, he does. He makes a good play. Um, so I'm gonna go into Slow Bro, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna win. I think that's the game plan. Um, Cause as long as he doesn't burn me with Scald, or do I just click Scald right here? I, I can just click Scald right here, I think. Um, Cause he's Secret Sword Hydro Pump, so sub CM, I think. Um, so he goes into T-Tart, please reward me, reward me for clicking Scald. Where's my, actually where's my burn? Help me. <laughs> um, I gotta double the hit though, I think. Even if he has Pursuit. Actually, I'm just going to stand and slack off. See where this gets me. Because if he pursuits, then it'll do... Okay, he crunched. That did damage. Um, good news, I can just go into Hippo now, I think, and uh, take this thing on. I'm basically just trying to weaken his team so that I can just run through it with slow bro. But, um, goes for crunch again. Easy. I can just click EQ right here with little to no fear. Because... Scizor comes in, takes rocks. Okay, he goes into Latios, which is fine. Um, I can just slack off on the Draco, I think. Um, I, hopefully he defogs. It'd be beautiful if he defogs. Because then it, I don't have to later. He just Dracos. Crits. Well, I suppose he kind of deserved that one. Um, what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to go into Slowbro. Finally going to Mega Evolve after all this time. And uh, I'm going to start CMing on him. Because... This won't do a lot, if any at all. Um, sure, he can just go into Scizor, but I just slack off the switch. Um, shouldn't really be a problem. Because Slowbro, I think, actually can carry the team from this point. And that's the great thing about Mega Slowbro. Like, Mega Slowbro is a, like a god on balance. He just goes for the defog. Thanks for the CM, bud. <laughs> um, <coughs> kind of a nasty cough. <coughs> anyway. The question is, do I Scald or do I CM? CMing would be nice. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Even <sighs> he's not staying in though. I'm gonna click Scald. And if he stays in and like reveals T Bolt, it's gonna be 20%. Um, goes out to Keldeo. Okay. Your point. <laughs> Your boy's clicking Calm Mind. <laughs> he doesn't care. Um, if he reveals to be like sub toxic Keldeo, then you know you have innovated past my comfort zone, and you deserve this match. No, I, I ain't doubling, buddy. 
I'm staying in. I'm clicking slack off right here on this crunch. Bet to see how much it's going to do. My guess is 20, no, 30%, which would be laughable. Um, if he gets the defense drop, that's unfortunate, but... Oh, I, I also have the curse where my Mega Sprite just refuses to show up. 31%? Got him. Because um, I can just see him on this. I can just... Yeah, I can see him on this. Actually, no, I, I don't think I need any more. I've said see him on this like 12 times in this episode. But I can just click Scald right here as Crunch does laughable damage. That did a lot. Where's my burn? Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this as setup fodder. Because clearly he's intent on leaving this in. Can't crit me. Yum. I'm slacking off again just to be safe. And the last real threat to this is Scizor. So, CM, and then I... See, I don't really think this is a favorable trade for him, just staying in and letting me get these CMs up. And sorry for my mic right there, but you boy gotta do what he's gotta do. Um, I can slack off one more time, I think, and then click Skull. I think that's my best play, because at plus three, I should be able to take on anything that wants to go for. And it's just about kind of making my way through his team at this point. Um, I suppose, yeah, I'm, I'm going to burn one more slack off. And the reason I'm going to do this is because I will be at the highest amount of HP possible. Don't get the defense drop. Thank you. Um, I can just click Scald right here. T-Tar's gone. Psy Shock means that that is gone. Uh, I just have to stall out Latios. Stall it out of Life Orb. And plus three Scald will actually do a lot to it. Switches that into Scizor inexplicably to take the skull and just dies. So, you know, I think any chance he had, he just flushed right there. Um, because Talon will die to a skull. I'm just going to slack off versus Latios. Maybe he just wanted to get the sand back to get residual damage, but at this point, it's like, really? It's not actually going to help you at this point. No defense. Drop. Got him. Okay. Bye, T Char. So, Slowbro just said, uh, come on, team. Get on my back. Geo's gonna go watch House of Cards after this, so I gotta wrap it up, bros. Anyway, I think I'm slacking off right here. <laughs> this is about to do no damage. Hydro, 12% tops. Absolute tops. CM, a funny joke. Hold the Psy Shock for me. Um, I think once I reveal Psy Shock, he's probably gonna leave, but um, unfortunate that I crit that thing early game. But I did still have Latias in the back. Yeah, you're dead. Bye. Um, I nor I normally run ice beams, r run ice beam on this thing just because it hits dragons a lot better, and it sucks being walled by Latios. But as you guys are gonna see, like it's not actually gonna matter in this battle because this is even the, if this is banded, it's gonna be thirty some percent. It's actually stupid bulky. Um. But I'm not surprised that I didn't get banned because there's a lot of other threatening things in the meta right now. He's Life Orb. Nice U-turn damage, buddy. Because um, that just means I slack off for free versus uh, Latios and basically can just do that infinitely until I win the game. Um, let's see how much... That did 44%. Actually haven't gotten to burn this entire episode. Um, Would have been helpful versus that early game. I had two chances, the Scald and the... Uh, other thing, nice damage, buddy. Yum. Yum. And so, you know, it looks like Slowbro is going to carry us to victory in our first live back in like two weeks, maybe. Um, sorry about that, by the way, guys. Um, just like, I just wasn't really feeling lives, and I kind of, you kind of have to feel them to record them. So, it's one of those things. But now I'm energized, I'm ready to do lives again. So. Hopefully, we can get back in the action. It was also a really busy week, because, like, basketball's happening right now, so district finals are tomorrow. If we win, we'll play two sectionals games, and then if we win both those, we'll play two regionals games before we go to the state final four. Hopefully, that's where we're headed, so that would be amazing if we can snag a state title this year. Uh, we, we were in the state finals last year and lost, which was unfortunate, um, but... Yeah, he just leaves. So that's going to go ahead and wrap up this episode. So if you guys did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like, as it really does help show support for the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel. Also, make sure to answer today's comment question of the video, which is what are you guys planning on doing this weekend? I got a basketball game, but other than that, I'm just chilling. Ben's watching House of Cards. And with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content. And with that, I'll catch you on the flip-flop.